What's up, people? It is your boy, Richard Blessed And, um, <coughs> sorry about that. <coughs> Try again. What is up people? It is your boy here, Triple S Tom, and yeah, yeah, I'm kind of like Piccolo, right? Go on, why didn't you dash? Anyway, screw up for that. Um, now, um, Pokemon Go Gen 2 has um, officially been announced, and we're scheduled to get um, Pokemon Go Gen 2 later, anytime between now and anytime. So basically, what we're, what we're really waiting for is to see exactly what's going to happen in terms of Pokemon Gen 2. Now I'm going to just try to see if I can one-shot this video as much as possible, except for that slight bit where I cough. So um, I have a few notes written here, and I'm going to be talking a few stuff about Pokemon Gen 2. And um, I'm going to start off with um, basically the first thing where a lot of people actually... Um, been wondering will most of the players that have actually stopped playing Pokemon Go return to Pokemon Go because of Gen 2 and honestly um, I do believe that a lot of players who actually stopped playing Pokemon Go will return to Pokemon Go because Gen 2 actually has come out now and a lot of players needed something new to push them to that point where they'd actually want to start playing a game so yes I do believe that a lot of players will actually come back to the game now there are some players who actually deem the game dead and will never come back to the game regardless of whatever happens to the game so that's them and that's my opinion so um, another thing is the um, German real estate company which kinda of brought the news first a lot of people are wondering how did this relate to Pokemon Go. Now, what a lot of people don't understand is, from a business standing point, if you're a German real estate, if you're a real estate company and you're gonna make, like, say, a scheme with like a hundred thousand people living there, it should be like a hundred thousand houses. And if you make a Pokestop in your area, you can basically contain these people. They'll never have to leave. So you'll actually be bringing more Pokemon Go players to that area. So you basically have an entire community of Pokemon Go players. So that's how that relates to that. And yeah, you ne they never have to leave. You'd have a gym in that area. You'd have a Pokestop in that area. If not, maybe a few Pokestops. So you basically have a confined area basically just for Pokemon Go players. Which would pretty much be awesome to think about it. Just an entire community of Pokemon Go players. That's, that's, that's pretty cool. And um, another thing is um, I wanted to go over these. These are just like um, some very small points of what I think um, Niantic should and shouldn't do in terms of Gen 2 and what they're actually going to be doing. And yeah, uh, I just want to go over these really, really quickly so you guys can actually get my opinion. You guys can leave it down in the comments. Let me know what you guys think about these opinions that I'm going to be making if I'm actually fearing them or not. So, first off, I'd like for them to actually um, add 10 more um, levels to the, tra to the trainer level and actually let you go up to level 50 because it was level 30 first, I think. I never got there. I'm not really in a rush to get to a higher level, so that's it. I think it was level 30 first and then it got increased to level 40 and I'd like for them to add 10 more to it to increase it to level 50 because a lot of people have already reached level 40 and basically you don't know what else to do with the game also a lot of people have actually wanted to know that there's another level that you can get to which other people haven't been get to and a lot of people want to be the first to get to that level to hold that accomplishment so I think they should actually do that and increase that level people who are lower than me probably wouldn't really care that much because we're gonna to get to that level eventually but we're just enjoying the ride because you know just enjoy the ride while we're going there so that's uh, my opinion. Um, another thing is I wouldn't want him to add any form of um, status damages or status effect. Now, a lot of people say that they want this, but trust me, you do not want this. Trust me. Now, the reason for this is, and I actually wrote down a list of some of the most annoying status damages that you guys probably would want in this. Freezing. If you're battling a gym and you're fighting a Lapras and that Lapras freezes you. You are frozen throughout that entire gym battle. You can't defeat that Pokemon. That Pokemon defeats your Pokemon. And then you, the gym gets prestige. You lose. That's, that's 
that's that's pretty freaking messed up. Also, guys, since I'm trying to one shot this, I might swear now and again. So, yeah, whenever you see my lips do this, cover your ears. Um, burn. You wouldn't want to get burned because burned actually costs half your attack and it also takes on some of your HP. So that's a pretty messed up one. You really, really, really do not want that one. Um, Paralyze. Paralyze is another one which you definitely don't want. Um, how Paralyze work in the main series is that when you're paralyzed, basically your Pokemon is slower and sometimes your Pokemon doesn't move, which means that in Pokemon Go, if I was to guess, you'll actually move slower while you're dodging, so moves will actually hit you a lot more. And also, sometimes your Pokemon won't be able to attack or you won't be able to dodge, so that's pretty messed up. Um, another one is sleep, and this was the one. This one was the one. Aside from being frozen, this one was the one. If somebody should somehow put a Butterfree in their gym and that Butterfree had sleeping powder. <laughs> oh my god. You're screwed. You're completely screwed. Um, also, poison. Poison is another one. Poison is one of them that you definitely don't want because if a Pokemon should poison you, then your HP is going to be going down. And I think poison drop your defensive stats. I'm not sure. Or I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Still not sure. Um, but um, here's another thing. Those are something that I didn't want Niantic to add to. Here's another thing that I would like for them to add. I'd like for them to add um, more Pokestops, more gyms, and more spawning points. Now I'm going to start with Pokemon Stops and Gyms. First thing, um, my area has four Pokestops and one gym in Pokemon Go. I play Ingress and I started playing Ingress because of Pokemon Go. And there's an extra portal in Ingress which isn't a Pokestop or a Poke or a gym. You guys have seen that in the video which I'll link right left. I'll link it over here so you guys can go check that video out. I'll also put it at the end of the video so you guys can go see that. And um, I've been campaigning very, very hard to actually get that portal to become a Pokestop or a gym. And my campaign isn't going so well, but I'm still campaigning. I'll try as hard. I've actually been playing Ingress really, really hard so that I can get to a high enough level because I was told that if you're a high enough level, occasionally they have an event in Ingress where high level players can actually influence and review portals and that's what I've been trying to do. I want to get to the high enough level where I can influence and review portals so I can go to other rural areas or other major areas in, um, in my area, surrounding areas and just Jamaica in general and see if I can actually add some of these Pokestops or add some of these places that deserves to be Pokestops. And I've been doing some work on, you know, the maps and stuff, you guys saw that. Um, also, for the more spawns now, um, with Generation 2 coming out, you basically be having two different sets of Pokemon. And for people like myself who haven't caught the entire original 186, 186, 100 plus Pokemon, the original Pokemon, then we'd like to catch these Pokemon still. And with a new generation coming out now, the um, most likelihood of catching all of these Pokemon will actually be shortened so we'll have a less likely chance of getting these type of Pokemon so hopefully they would add if it's even two please Niantic if it's even two if it's even three if it's anywhere between three or two more Pokestops more more Pokemon spawn points sorry my bad more Pokemon spawn points then please do that um, because you can, I mean, you, you can still have generation Pokemon still be spawning in these new spawn points, but um, maybe you'd see a diversity instead of just seeing straight up generation two Pokemon being spawned, then you'd have both of them being spawned. Because what would happen is if all the generation Pokemon keep spawning, 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 what will happen is in cases span of two weeks to a month, um, you basically capture every single generation two Pokemon. And then the game would go back from here to here again, and that's not what you want. So keep adding Generation 1 Pokemon, keep seeing those Pidgeys, those Rattatas, and 
keep seeing all those other Pokemon that are from Generation 2. You guys can still do stuff where you increase like Porygon, um, Snorlax, Dragon, Dratini, all those other rare Pokemon. So people who didn't have those Pokemon can actually get those Pokemon because those are the rarer types of Pokemon. And just keep some of the Pokemon that you know are rare to keep people interested. They can keep going and getting those candy, Onyxes, Scyther's, all of that stuff. Keep getting those so po people can actually be going out there, not just looking for Generation 2 Pokemon, but still be looking for Generation 1 Pokemon so that they can actually bring that over to go to their Generation 2. That's something that I really want to see. And um, that's pretty much everything that I wrote down. So the rest of it, I'm pretty much just going to go off the top of my head with this. And um, bear with me, guys. It's freaking cold out here in Jamaica right now. Um, I'm assuming it's because of all the, f the, the snow that's going on up north, northern islands. And, you know, the wind blows, you know, this side and, you know, the rotation of the earth and current and geography and stuff and science. So, yeah, it's pretty cold. But... Um, yeah, that's, those are some of the stuff that I really want to see them implement. And another thing is, I like what they did with the six hours lore. I actually missed the entire Valentine's Day event because I don't have a cell phone to play Pokemon Go. I actually sold my cell phone to play Pokemon Go because it couldn't screen record. And I was supposed to get another phone that could screen record that phone that came. So, yeah, that sucked. But back on Pokemon Go stuff now, I'm actually going to see if I can get a phone that can screen record. That's what I'm working on right now. So I can actually record my Generation 2 captures and also my Generation 1 because my Generation 1 Dex is pretty messy. I haven't gotten everything. And um, I'm really hoping that Niantic, with releasing Generation 2, I hope that they actually release a, another event within that same span. Maybe not the exact same day. But maybe within a week or three days of Generation 2 being released where you'd actually, maybe they can give away um, free incubators or something, free incubators, something, give away something. Or it could even, they've never done this before, but they can do an event where you get double Pokecoins from gyms and increase item from Pokestops. So you'll be able to stock up on the new berries, you'll be able to get double Pokecoins and also you'll be able to have increased lore. So you can get more Poke coins, so you can buy more lore. You can buy more lore, so you can lure more areas. You can lure more areas to attract more people to these areas. You can attract more people to these areas so that more people will be playing the game. The more people will be playing the game is the more the game will grow in popularity. The word will spread. And Pokemon Go will get back to where it was. That's basically what I'm getting at here. Niantic, you guys are catching on. You're catching on a bit slow. Also, um, another quick point that I missed. Um, I, what I really want them to do is like not um, add more CP to some of the existing Pokemon because honestly some of the Gen 2 Pokemon will be coming out and these Gen 2 Pokemon will be coming out and each time they evolve they're going to become stronger so obviously the Gen 2 Pokemon are going to be buffed so there will be no, no need to add um, extra CP to these Pokemon these Pokemon like say Scyther, um, Onyx and um, Vile Plume, and so on, etc, etc, etc. Because these Pokemon will already be evolved, so they'll like, gain an additional amount of CP with each evolution. Maybe even EV too, I don't think they need to add any CP to EV. So I really believe that they, they should just leave these Pokemon as they are. You could potentially buff the other Pokemon if you, if you find it necessary, but what I'll find eventually happening is you'll probably not we'll probably find more of the newer generation Pokemon being used and less of the older generation Pokemon being used because the newer generation Pokemon will have better CP so that's probably what will happen but anyway guys um, that's basically just my thought on what I think will happen or what I think should happen or what Niantic should probably do for generation 2 also if you guys have any questions about generation 2 game mechanic wise or the Pokemon Go in general as to how it's going to be operated, how it's going to work or you guys have any questions about how you should do these stuff or what you want to do or you have any suggestions for another Pokemon Go video you guys can leave that down in the comments also you guys can follow me on all my social media stuff this is Triple S Tom and I'll see you guys in another video Gen 2 is out there man it's just not ready yet but when it is you guys go out there catch some Pokemon be safe be careful I'll see you guys in another video.